Welcome to Dandelion Wishes. We're getting ready, ready for a watercolor paintables class. Here's my hello card. Here's my best day ever. Here's my celebrate. Here's my very special wishes. And you're in my thoughts and prayers. You can see that every time you watercolor, they can be totally different. I did this one yesterday and added colored pencils and I did it completely different than the one I did the time before. This best day ever I did completely different than the time I did before. Today I'm going to do the celebrate. I've added stickles to this one right here. I'm going to paint one for you. And we'll try doing a little bit deeper colors this time. So if I prime my watercolors, which means you put water down on each one of those that you're going to use and let it sit for a few minutes, your colors will be brighter. That's the goal anyway. So let's start with the yellow star. We've got a few yellow stars. And I'm going to put stickles on top of all of these and the little flowers. So I'll just paint those all in first. This is like take four as you try and get the camera to be where it needs to be and your arms out of the way. It's like you hope you finally succeed to what you're trying to do. Oh, I needed some green up here on this sky. You don't have to stay perfectly in the lines. Watercolor can create its own shadow. This green is much darker than I picked up before because I got it from the part that I primed a little bit better. You can also come back in and do more layers. Okay, here is our red. It's had time to set. Let's see how well that worked. Yes, that looks like a nice bright color. It's warm in St. George today, so these should dry fairly quickly. You can come back and add a second coat to make it even darker and your colors more vibrant. And that's what we're going for today, is to try and make them more vibrant. So by letting the it, our water prime the colors so we're getting more pigment pigment out not enough I'm going to come back in and and add a second coat make that a little darker and then I can come back in with my colored pencils later and do some shading on the side Here we have our orange That need a little bit more water as it wasn't flowing very well. And if you get a little bit too much, just dab it off there and try again. Add my yellow.
see if we can get that deep orange here. A little more vibrant colors. Whoop. Am my brush clean enough? Go back in for some yellow. Now we're going to try this blue guy. I'm going to turn it this way. This is a much deeper color this go around. We could actually color in that hole inside if we wanted to. too much water. These are much deeper colors this time because I've let the water prime that for me. Hopefully you can see this one and compare the two using the exact same colors just I've let my water prime the paints for a much longer period of time. You could actually color in that whole A if you wanted to. Okay, now we gotta figure out what color we wanna do. This little guy. The pigment on this one has really shown up dark because it's being allowed to let the water soften the color. And there we go. We could come back. Watercolors are never, are never not movable unless you put a sealant on them. So I'm going to take a little bit of the color right off of the other watercolor that's already there and just do a little wash right inside of there. And do the same thing with this one. Just pulling a little bit of color off of the side and I'm going to do the same thing with this one just pulling a little bit of color off of the side just barely touching it
Okay, and there you have it. I'll be back with colored pencils after this is dried. Have a great day. Bye.